May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and with all we've been through, your mental health has likely been impacted by the pandemic. But our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins, has some ideas to help you manage some of that stress you might be feeling. What's next? It's a question we all want answered now, but we're forced to wait, and that feeling of helplessness can easily spark the stress. We're really being tested in terms of uh, controllability. A lot of it is taken out of our hands, so I think you try to focus on the couple things that are within your control, really taking all the advisements seriously. That's one way to exert some governance. So take charge and make a plan. A to-do list or schedule is very helpful for those who are feeling alone and isolated. Schedule your day in hour blocks of time or even shorter blocks of time so that there's a rhythm and a pace to your day. It's actually a known uh, biological treatment for depression. We call it activity scheduling. Many workplaces operate on schedules. If we can start to induce that into our daily lives a little bit, that makes our days go faster, are more meaningful, we feel more effective in our days. The pandemic is forcing us to create new routines, but try to make that new habit a good one. It takes about 66 days to form a new habit. We are forming habits right now, and it's great if we can guide some of those habits rather than just having them happen to us. Uh, if we can show a little uh, control in that area, that would make a big difference for us too. It's understandable if you find your emotions on a roller coaster because of all this, but before it gets overwhelming, reach out to a mental health provider and know you're not alone. Ohio Guidestone, one of the largest behavioral health agencies in the state, saw their telehealth calls for mental health and substance abuse jump from 850 calls a month to more than 27,000 in just April. Help really is a virtual or phone call away. Monica Robbins, 3 News.